Joe from Cambridge today. Uh, can you speak to the uh, crisis international students are facing? Um, there's a lot of pressure being put on local food banks uh, and kind of community tables. Uh, a lot of times they're kind of placed in precarious housing situations. Can you kind of speak to that and maybe what your government could do to prevent that from happening? Thank you. Very important question. Um, Justin Trudeau has allowed total chaos in the international student system. And this is really an area where Sean Frazier, who was then the immigration minister, should be held to account. He allowed corrupt consultants and phony universities and colleges to bring students here on false pretense. Those students now come here, find out that their educational institution is a fraud, that they don't have a home, that they can't pay their bills, and they're stuck going to the food bank. Under Fraser and Trudeau, international students have been forced to live under bridges and on streets, uh, beg for food, sell themselves into prostitution and gangsterism, overdose on drugs. They came here with a dream that turned into a nightmare. My common sense plan would verify that every student who comes here has A, a real admission letter from a real educational institution, B, a home that they can identify with an address before they arrive, and C, a way to pay their bills, that is either proof that they have enough savings to get them through their time here, or a job that will provide them with adequate wages. That will ensure that we that the students who arrive can eat, heat, and house themselves, that they're actually coming to study and get a real education, and then we can make their visit here a success and in, in many cases hopefully allow them to stay here and become Canadians.